Hi, I'm Abby and welcome to Abby's Den. In this video, I want to help you to convert designs that you've downloaded from the internet, so they're embroidery designs, specially used in embroidery machines. Now, it's a very simple process, but this is a little bit long-winded because if you're an absolute beginner, you need to know how to view your files. Now, if you have no software, and quite often people do get some free software with their computers, but then are frightened and overwhelmed. There's a very simple, basic uh, software package that you can download um, off the internet. So let's go straight into Google. Right, and then I want to take you to a website called Wilcom. Now Wilcom are an Australian based company, but they have this software called TrueSizer not a but, but they do. Um, it's True Sizer. Now the True Sizer allows you to view your designs that you've downloaded and purchased um, as pictures on your computer. So you don't end up with a list of five cute dogs. You end up with pictures of five different cute dogs, for example. Okay, so now I'm using a Mac today. So I want to download the E3, the web uh, version. So what that means is you don't access the true sizer through your hard drive. It's not on your computer. You have to get the true sizer logging into the computer. So you have to go into the internet and log into the uh, website to access um, the true sizer. If you want to download it, you can get the E4. Now the E4 is really easy to use and it's really good. I have it on my PC. Again, it allows me access to my designs from the hard drive. So I don't need to connect to the internet. So if I'm out and about and I'm not connected to the internet, I can take my laptop out and have a little play. And if you do want to go a little bit further, you can get the True Sizer Pro. And the True Sizer Pro allows you to view it on a hoop in um, what it would look like if it was on apparel. You get all different extra features. But for me, because I'm on the Mac and because I'm quite happy with the free package, um, I'm gonna go for the True Sizer E3 Web. So let's click on to get it now. Now, because I've already been through this and I've registered, I've already downloaded it onto, my, uh, onto the internet. I'm already registered so I can access it straight away. So. Do I want to open the demo design? I will. So there we go. So we open up the demo design and they've given us a tropical fish. Now, it's, um, let's have a look here, what we have. So we've got different features. I can make this ruler bigger. I can uh, change again, making it smaller, and I can get it to fit the screen. Let's have a look at this, the grid lines. I can get rid of the rulers and I can expand it for the whole of the screen. Now, I don't want to do that because we want to be able to see everything on there. So we've also got the settings. We can have it in metric and inches. We'll leave it as center display and any additional help that we need. Now you've got to remember E3 is a really basic package. It gives you just the ability to change the size of it, which is in its name, True Sizer, and it gives you a few extra details. So it gives me the height and the width, um, the number of stitches the embroidery file requires, and the number of thread changes there are. So there are, well, thread colours there are. So there are five thread colours that you're going to need for this particular design. There are going to be nine stops, so it will stitch out this section here, it will stop and then it will need to change the thread so it can stitch that out. Then it will change colour again and you'll do the next part. So you'll do that nine times. So even though there are five colours, you might have to come back because it's layered. You might come back to a colour that you used before and then go back to the next one. The 13 trims, now the 13 trims are jump stitches. So you'll be stitching out over here and then suddenly the needle jumps over here and starts stitching out here. 
So you're left with a long strangling thread. Now if you have a fancy embroidery machine, it will probably cut that thread away. But if you don't, you will have these long threads. Now you can leave it all um, to cut them out at the end, but I would advise you stop your machine and cut the trims as you go in because sometimes you'll end up stitching over them so they get trapped in there. So stop the machine and when you get to the jump stitch, allow it to stitch a little bit more and then cut them. Okay, now we're going back to this. Let's make this fish a bit smaller. It looks quite big on the screen. We can change the sizes. You can go up and down by only 10%. And the reason is these stitches, they stretch too long and they don't look so good. So you don't want to do that. So just change it a little bit 10 or uh, up by 10% or down by 10%. And your machine allows you to have some changes anyway. Um, so you'll be able to do that on your embroidery machine. Now, I want to fit this into my 4x4 hoop. So I'm going to specify the size. So I'm going to change the width here. And I'm going to put 4 inches. And then the height will end up being 2 inches. So I'll work on that. And now can you see? It fits into a 4x4 hoop area. Okay, I can rotate the fish a little bit at a time. Let's do that. We can mirror the fish and reflect it different ways. Let's bring it back and we'll have the fish going that way. Now we're going to save this. So let's save this. We're going to save the design and we'll save it onto our computer. And if I um, press that button there, I can save it in different versions of the Wilcom embroidery design. Now it has the .m, that means it's an embroidery file. So it won't be ready for your computer, for your embroidery machine to stitch out. So what you need to do is actually change, we'll leave that there, we want to change it to use, to be able to stitch out onto our embroidery machine. Okay, so we convert this design. <laughs> getting a bit twisted there. So we're converting the design to the model of machine that you have. All right, so I have a brother machine, so I'm going to go all the way down, and there's brother there, and it has the file extension .pez. Now that star represents the name of the file, so it's a .pez, okay, or P-E-S. So we'll save it as a .pez. Now it says tropical fish, and I am going to just change that so it says four by four so that when I save it into my computer I'll know that this is a four by four um, fish ready for my four by four hoop. Okay so then I'll just show you one more thing before we leave now we've got this here so when I click print design I have a visual um, something that I can print out and have a hard copy so on a piece of paper in my folder I can keep a picture of the fish of the design and the list of the threads that I will need when I stitch this out. Some people like having them other people don't bother and um, at the beginning I think I used to keep a folder of all the designs but when you build up your portfolio and you end up with lots and lots, hundreds and literally thousands of designs on your computer, you find that you're not going to stitch them all out, uh, print these out. So I did to start off with, just to help me along the way at the beginning, but it's up to you. Okay, so we've saved that and it's there and you can see that on a Windows uh, computer as well. So on a, a Mac, and on a Windows, you right click and then it show in Finder. On your window PC, it will say show in folder. So click show in folder or show in Finder. And there you are, ta-da! We can see Tropical Fish 4x4 in that folder, in the downloads. And it's saved there. Now, it's great that it's there, but we want to place it into the USB stick. So let's drag it along to the USB stick and if I click, double click that, the USB stick has my tropical fish in there and it's as easy as that. So let's rename that 
as embroidery files. Well, we'll just stick with embroidery because I don't think we can put long names on there. And I'm going to take you, before we leave, to um, the Brother website. And lots of different places have free designs. So the Brother EU website, because I'm in the UK, um, I'm right Brother EU embroidery design. And there you can see it takes me straight to the projects and free patterns. We like free. Here are the free designs that um, Brother have released. So they release one every month. A smiley face, a flamingo, a watermelon chameleon. There's all sorts there. Some cute um, designs. So I want you to be able to download these. Now, if you'd purchase them, you, you go through the motion of purchasing. Uh, you don't need to be taught how to buy off the internet, I'm sure. You've bought before. Um, they will usually tell you to download. So let's stick with something that's really easy, um, like this flamingo. This flamingo only has one colour, which means we're not going to change the thread in this. So if we can download that, and can you see there, it's actually just um, numbers, and that means nothing. So we'll show that in folder, and there it is. So we can see it. Because we've got the true sizer, we can actually visually see this on um, on the d uh, downloads folder rather than just a list like that. So it's useful having true sizer. Um, right click on there, we'll rename that as Flamingo. There we go. And then if we drag that to our embroidery, there you go. Let's double click that. Our embroidery USB stick now has two designs on there. Now if I create a new folder, so I'll right click in there and I will call that Brother Designs. If I call them Free Brother Designs, I can just place that flamingo in there and that can go up there. And then I can create a new folder and I'm going to call that Wilcom Designs and place that in there. Now I have two folders in my embroidery file, in my USB stick. So then I can download some more, click back in there, download, we'll download, let's have that giraffe and let's have these frilly leaves. And then they will be in our downloads folder so let's get rid of that. Can you see how they're all there? Let's, so we're going to drag our mouse. So I'm going to left click and drag the mouse across all four. Let go. And then move them. Where's that USB stick gone? There it is. And then drag them into the free brother folder there. So let's close that, double click that and there are all the designs. Very well done if you've done this um, and achieved that. Then all you need to do is take your USB stick out. So let's close that, right click and eject. You can do that on the windows as well. Eject. It's disappeared from my desktop which means it's safe to remove from the computer and install it into my embroidery machine. If you have any questions or comments, please state them below and then let me know if there's any other issues that you need to address when you're playing with your new embroidery machine. I hope it's helped. Like and subscribe and ring that bell and I'll be in touch soon. Take care. Happy sewing.